Hi guys, welcome to Sharon's Tutorials. Today I want to show you the basics of grouping, ungrouping and regrouping objects in PowerPoint. So this enables you to make a change to everything at the same time. So if you wanted to resize or move them as one, um, it's, it's just a handy way of doing it as one object rather than faffing around doing each one individually. So firstly, what you need to do is select the objects that you want to group together. So this particular slide, we have three, two text boxes and one shape. So if you first click on the first object that you want to group, press control and then click on the other objects that you want to be included in the group. So these are now all selected. So the first way of grouping these is you can right click on the mouse. So you'll see the cursor changes to the, the four crosshairs. So if you right click there, go to group and then click group. So now if you click on here, you can move all three objects as one, which is handy if you wanted to resize in one, or you can move it. So you can still select, even though these are in a group, you can still select an individual um, shape within this group. So if I wanted to now change the shape, change the color of this shape, then even though the group is selected, click on the shape in there, go to shape format and I can change it to a different color if I wanted to. So that's the first way of doing it. The second way of doing it, once all the objects are selected, is because these are shapes, you'll see on the ribbon, you now have an option called shape format. So if you click into here, go across to the arrange section on the, of the tab and you'll see the group one there. So again, click on group and then select group. And again, that now, that now groups them all together. The final way of grouping them is to use the keyboard shortcut Control and G. And it does the same thing. It just quickly groups them together. So the previous slide had shapes that we grouped together. This slide is images. So again, you select the pictures that you want to be included in the group, press Control and select them. And again, you can right click if you want to, go to group and group, or you can go to the ribbon and where we had shape format before because there were shapes that we were grouping, this is now picture format because these are actual pictures. So if you click on picture format, go across to the arrange section of the ribbon, click on group, and then you can group them that way. And again, now you'll see these are actually all classed as one object. So you can resize them if you wanted to and drag them any way you want to. Again, if you want to, if you want to make a change to an individual one in there, make sure the group is selected, click on the actual picture that you want to change and you can resize that one if you wanted to. So now we have these groups, if you want to ungroup them, what you need to do is select the group, right click on the mouse, go down to group and you can ungroup and you'll see this now ungroups them. Another way of doing it is select the group, go up to the top on the ribbon to shape format, go across to group and select ungroup that way. And the final way to ungroup is to use the keyboard shortcut Control, Shift and G. Control, Shift and G. And that ungroups them as well. So again, with the images, the same thing. Select the group and go up to picture format and you can just ungroup them that way. The next thing I want to talk about is regrouping. So this is where you have, if you had a, a group of objects that were you originally grouped together and then you ungrouped them, you can actually regroup them all back without actually having to select all of the objects first. You only need to actually select one of the objects in the previous group. So if we select the shape here and right click, go to group and you'll see the option regroup. And this automatically regroups the objects that were in the previous group. So again, if you go to the picture slide here, and if we click on one picture, go up to picture format, go to group and regroup, and you'll see here, this is now regrouped them all together. So that's a real handy way if you have a group of objects, so you had like 50 objects in the group and you ungrouped them, made a change to a couple of them, and then you just need, literally need to select one of those objects and click regroup, and it will automatically regroup the 50 objects that were in the previous group. Uh, another, re another quick way of regrouping is to use the keyboard shortcut. So again, just select one of the objects that was in the original group and press Control, Shift, and J, and that will automatically regroup them all. There may be times when you go to the group option and it's actually greyed out, so you can't select it. So here, if we right click and the group, you'll see here the group section 
is actually grayed out or you go up to shape format and you can see that you can't actually select the group. This will probably be because you've only selected one object. The group option needs at least two objects to be selected in order to function properly. So if you just select another and you can see here it's now highlighted. And if you right click, you'll see here that you can actually choose it. So that's okay as well. And one final point to note is that the regroup function will only work during the active session. So for example, if you ungroup a set of objects and then you close down the actual presentation, when you come to reopen it and try to regroup, it won't work. You'll have to select each object and group them from scratch. So that's it, a basic guide to grouping of objects in PowerPoint, including some real handy keyboard shortcuts. I hope you found it helpful. Thanks for watching and until next time, happy learning.